Hello, and welcome to ClinicAid. In this tutorial video, we'll be showing you the ins and outs of ClinicAid's built-in scheduling feature. We'll look at how to create and edit a new schedule for a provider in your ClinicAid account. We'll also cover adding and editing appointments, and we'll show you how to navigate through the appointment screen effectively to complete your billing as efficiently as possible directly from the schedule. If you haven't yet set up your ClinicAid account for billing, please feel free to take a look at our other tutorial videos to help you familiarize yourself with ClinicAid's features. You can find these and more resources on our customer support portal. Let's get started. Once you've logged into your ClinicAid account, you can go to the Schedule section in the left-hand menu to begin. We'll be using an Alberta demo account to walk you through the scheduling module but the features and functionality are similar in BC and Ontario, so all of our users should have no trouble following along. Since you haven't yet set up a schedule in ClinicAid, you should see a little message at the top of the screen that prompts you to go to the Schedule Admin section. Clicking on the link will take you directly into the Schedule Admin section of your ClinicAid account. You should see four tabs across the top of this screen. Schedule, Weekly Templates, Type Settings, and eBooking and Reminders. We'll work through these from right to left. The eBooking and Reminders tab is where you can request access to one of our other services called My Health Access. This service is fully integrated with ClinicAid and will let patients book appointments online as well as send automated appointment reminders via email or text. If you'd like to use My Health Access with your ClinicAid account, please request access and one of our support reps will be in touch to help you get set up. On the Type Settings tab, you'll be able to view and customize the various appointment status and availability types. Appointment statuses help you easily identify at what stage a particular appointment is. Please note that you'll need to edit the appointment statuses and add them to the status rotation by toggling from No to Yes in order for these various statuses to cycle through on the scheduling screen. Availability types can be used in office as a way to easily see what time slots are available to be booked for appointments. If you're also using My Health Access with your ClinicAid account, these appointments will have additional types that allow you to control where and when patients can book an appointment, the type of visit they're booking, a specified duration, and more options. You can choose to disable any of the types that don't have system next to them by clicking on the red X icon and you can edit all of the types by clicking on the blue pencil icon to customize color, name, display letter, and status rotation in your schedule. You can also add other appointment statuses and availability types, or remove ones you don't use, based on your practice's needs. Use the search fields to narrow down your display once your lists get too long, and use the drop-down to look for active or inactive types in particular. We're going to leave these just the way they are and move on to the Weekly Templates tab. This is where you can set up templates to use for the provider or providers in your account. You should have a sample template already available as an example. Click on the New Weekly Template button. You can give your template a name, and you can use the calendar to click on the day and time you want to start with. Once you've clicked on a time slot, a new window will pop up that allows you to select availability. You can select which days of the week this template should apply to by toggling between yes or no for each day, and you can enter a start and end time. Choose an availability type based on what you have in your type settings, and set a default appointment length if you'd like. You can also add in do not book times to your weekly template, useful for lunch breaks or other regularly occurring off times. Once you've set up your template and hit the blue Create button, you should see colored blocks appear on the calendar that reflect the information you've just saved. Clicking on a block will allow you to edit the availability easily. You can also extend or reduce the time covered by the blocks simply by dragging the bottom of the block to adjust accordingly, and you can quickly move blocks by dragging them around the calendar. 
You're able to delete templates using the red X icon, edit them using the blue pencil icon, or view them using the gray eye icon. You can also use the search field to narrow down the templates displayed, and you can look through all active or inactive templates using the drop-down menu. Make as many weekly templates as you'd like to match your schedule. Now let's move over to the Schedules tab to set up a schedule for our provider. Click on the Add Schedule button. You'll notice that two of the fields are already filled in. The type should be set to Provider, and the default appointment status should be set to Booked, as these are the most common scheduler settings used. All you'll need to do here is select the right provider and hit the Save button. By clicking on the X, you can remove the two pre-filled settings if you'd like. Schedules can also be set up for resources, which can be handy for example when using particular rooms in your clinic that have a set schedule. And you can adjust the default appointment status to reflect a different type of appointment if that's applicable to your practice. Once you've saved the schedule, you should see a new schedule for your provider appear on the screen. You can then edit the schedule to apply the weekly templates you've already set up. Select the template you need and enter a start and end date for the template. Click Submit to save your changes. You can also add Do Not Book Times in this section. This feature should be used for less regular off periods, such as blocking off a day in your regular schedule or a longer period of time for vacations. Please note that this feature overwrites your weekly template schedule and will gray out the day or days when viewing your calendar. For lunch breaks or other regularly occurring breaks, it's best to block off the appropriate time slots in your weekly template. You can go back to view, edit, or disable this schedule at any time. You can also search through schedules using the search field and narrowing down your search between active and inactive schedules. After saving a schedule in your account, Click on the Schedules section in the left-hand menu. You should see your newly created schedule reflected in the calendar. You can change the way your calendar is displayed using the different user preferences that you can set up in the Preferences section in the left-hand menu. Click on Settings, click on the Schedules tab, and make changes to the fields as needed. You're able to book appointments quickly simply by clicking on a time slot. This will open the Add an Appointment window where you can fill in the relevant details. The length of an appointment can be modified beyond the default settings by using the Time feature. You can also edit the status of the appointment using the drop-down. Enter the primary reason for the visit in the Reason field and enter any additional notes in the Notes field. Search for a patient that already exists in your account using the Search field or add a new patient to your records for this appointment by clicking the plus sign. Patients you add using the quick form that appears will be saved in your Manage Patients section along with your other patient records. Once a patient is selected, you can confirm their details or edit the patient's record directly from this screen using the pencil icon. You can also clear patients using the X icon if you've selected the incorrect patient. Click Create to create the appointment. You should see a new color-coded line added into the time slot you selected for this appointment. You can also adjust the length or time of the appointment by dragging the bottom of the appointment block or dragging and dropping the appointment block in a new time slot. Clicking on the appointment will open it back up for you. You can make edits or updates to the appointment, or you can easily open up the Create Invoice screen, pre-filled with the patient and provider data already completed as part of the appointment setup, using the Modify and Bill button. You're also able to double book appointments in the same time slot. Click on the edge of the time slot just after where the current appointment block ends, and a new Add an Appointment window will appear which you can then fill out. You're able to easily cycle through appointment statuses by just clicking on the status which should be the first square icon visible. Please note that this will only be possible if you've already turned on Status Rotation in the Type Settings tab under Schedule Admin. 
Clicking on the dollar sign square will open the Create Invoice screen in a new tab, pre-filled with the patient's details. The person icon in the third square will open the patient's record, and the page icon in the last square will take you to the chart notes section of your patient's record in a new tab. You're also able to change how you're viewing the appointment screen by using the settings at the top. If you've set a default view in your schedule settings, your calendar will always show that view. You can quickly switch between day, week, and month views, and you can also use the group view, useful for accounts that have multiple provider schedules set up. Day and week views will still display time slots, whereas the month view will only display dates, making it particularly useful when checking if all past appointments have been billed and if all future appointments are set up correctly. You're able to easily cycle through a period of time using the left and right arrow buttons. They will cycle based on the day, week, or month view that is currently selected. Click the Today button for easy access back to today's schedule. You can also use the mini calendar in the left-hand menu to navigate through to different days quickly. You can change the time slot lengths using the time interval dropdown. Clicking on the Day Sheet button will display the provider's appointments that day, which can then be printed out using the Print Day Sheet button. If you ever want to turn off the scheduling module in your account, you can do so in your Admin section in the left-hand menu. Go down to Add-ons, toggle the Schedule option from Yes to No, and save the setting. This will remove the Schedule section from your account. If you turn this setting back on, all of your schedules should pop back up with the settings you've already saved. Please note that these changes can only be made if you have admin privileges for the Clinicaid account that you are using. There are additional settings in the Preferences section on the left-hand menu, found under Settings. The Schedules tab here will allow you to make changes to your personal schedule view. Please note that these changes will only be applied to your account and won't affect the view of other users linked to the Clinicaid account. We hope this video has helped you familiarize yourself with how scheduling works in your Clinicaid account. If you have any questions, please feel free to consult our customer support portal for more resources and links to our other tutorial videos. As well, you can contact one of our friendly support reps for additional assistance. Thanks for watching and happy billing!